Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Brandon Summer of Lenaway Christian Boys Basketball. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. So, um, uh, I know it's only a few months away, but the season's right around the corner. Um, just, uh, you know, you're probably counting down. We are now officially in the month of October at time of recording. Um, so just how exciting is it to know that the season's coming up in just a few months? I mean, it's very exciting. Just, I mean, my last year getting to come back on the court and play with my guys and I mean, hopefully get to the Brez this year. Yeah. Okay. So um, playing for, you know, it's, you know, a pretty small school. What, what's the, what's that just like for you? Um, I would say it's definitely tougher trying to get some guys out. Um, I mean, I think we only have 118 in our high school, so we're very small. And I mean, we try to get as many guys to come out as possible. Um, but I mean, it's it's definitely tough to get guys to come out. I would say is the biggest struggle. Yeah. Um, you know, I know that. Um, you know, this year I know you're you're expected to have a pretty big year and all that. Just um. You know, what are some of the things that you kind of worked on this uh, this summer and really this fall um, to really kind of get uh, really get prepared for the upcoming year? Um, I would say athleticism, probably the biggest thing. Um, I was lifting with our football team a little bit over the summer, put on some muscle. And then I was also doing an athleticism training program to just work on my vert and defense and all that stuff. What do you feel like the biggest thing that you need to work on uh, this year is? Um, I would say leadership and defense probably are the two biggest things. Um, I would say I'm a better defender now than I was even over the summer playing AAU. Uh, the athleticism program that I've been doing has been helping me a lot with that. Um, and then leadership is just, I mean, there's not really much you, I can work on for that. It's just more of I have to just do it, I guess. Yeah. So kind of going into, you know, with, with this year, what's, um you know, it's your senior year. What's that going to be like for you? Um, I don't know. It's going to kind of be weird uh, knowing that it is, it is my last season of high school basketball. Um and probably be the last time my dad is my coach. So probably be the last time with him as my coach too. So that's going to be pretty weird, but um, I mean, I'm excited, but nervous at the same time. Yeah. So, um, you know, I know you guys got a lot of goals this season and, and a lot of things that you, that you're going to accomplish. Yeah. You know, obviously everybody wants to to win it all at the end, but what are, what are some other things that, that you know you want to accomplish this year um like as a team yeah uh well we just joined the um I think it's the tri-city conference so the TCC uh we recently just joined that so a conference championship would be huge for us um and then we've won districts I think five years in a row now so winning a sixth district would be huge um and then, I mean, those are the two biggest things that jump out to me are those two things. How do you mentally get ready for a game? Um, I mean, I don't really, I don't really have any like pre like pregame routine or anything like that. Um, I mean, I'll listen to some calm music and try to get more locked in mentally. Um, and I'll have like a conversation with my dad before the game sometimes and we'll talk through the game and like a game plan um, just to get mentally prepared. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then finally, it's just like, what are some of the things that you're, you know, a couple of things you're going to work on before practices get going and, you know, obviously teams got to get picked and all that stuff. Um, what's, uh, what's that going to be like? Uh, heading into uh, this this upcoming year? What do you run, feel like you still need to do um, before the season starts? I would definitely say um, try to put on a little bit more muscle before the season starts. Um, 
and just kind of like perfecting everything. I feel like I'm pretty good at um skill, like the skill part of basketball I'm pretty good at um and kind of just like sharpening those, I guess, like getting a little bit better at shooting, getting a little bit better at ball handling and all those things. And also just being a student of the game, watching some film from last year and fixing some of my mistakes. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's get to know you, Brandon. How about that? Yeah. Okay. So best high school basketball moment so far. Ooh, that's tough. I've had a lot of good memories throughout the years. Um, I'd probably say my freshman year, we were division three and we won off a game winner off of my friend. His name's Jude Miniff. Won off of his game winner for three. Um, district final, it was absolutely electric. I mean, that was definitely one of the best moments I've had in my high school career. You're a senior, right? Yeah. That was the COVID year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it was. It was. I feel like I got to ask you this. Uh, I'm probably going to ask a lot of seniors this question, but to know that that you, that your first year was that year, what was that like? And now to see the progression kind of go – you know, just can't believe, I can't believe it's already my senior year. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was definitely a weird experience. Um, the whole mass thing, um, there was no jump ball to start off the game. We had to give it to the visiting opponent. Um, I mean, it, there were some very, very odd rules that were with it. Um, I mean, playing with mass was crazy to start off. That was something I'll never forget. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, okay, let's see what else. Uh, favorite player growing up? Um, it's kind of a basic answer, but I'd say Kobe Bryant. Um, I mean, I looked up to him a lot. Um, I look up to his leadership and how he drove his teammates um, I mean, those two things were his mentality, something else. It's something else. And that's what I try to incorporate into my lifestyle is kind of that mentality of doing everything to the best of your ability and working really hard at it. So you call it the Mamba mentality. Yeah. Uh, finally, what is something people do not know about you? Um, or like an interesting fact about you? I mean, I grew up in Hawaii for pretty much my entire life. Really? And yeah. So, I mean, pretty much my entire school knows that. But when did you most, move? When did you move to Michigan? When I was in eighth grade, we moved here. Man. So, I've only been here for about five years. What um, a time, yeah. What and going back to that, what another time? Was it before everything got really crazy with COVID? Yeah. Yeah, it was. But, I mean. It was my first year, and it was a crazy way to start off my first year in Michigan. So Yeah, I bet. Um, all right. Well, Brandon, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Best of luck. The best of luck this season. We'll probably have you on uh, sometime uh, during the season, if that's all, all right. right. Yeah, sounds good. All right.